The Rwanda Environment Management Authority is conducting a series of activities aimed to raise awareness on air pollution control. These activities are in line with the celebration of the 2021 International Day of Clean Air and Blue Sky. This year's theme is Healthy Air, Healthy Planet. It underlines the link between healthy air and a healthy planet following the international community's increasing interest in clean air, and emphasizing the need to make further efforts to improve air quality to protect human health. The United Nations General Assembly has designated the 7th of September as the International Day of Clean Air for Blue Skies. On Sunday, September 5, 2021, at the launch of the Air Pollution Control Campaign, the Rwanda Environment Management Authority in collaboration with the National Police inspected various vehicles to assess the level of pollution. In accordance with the World Health Organization's guidelines, the air quality in Rwanda is considered unsafe. Commenting on the campaign, the Director General of Rwanda Environment Management Authority Mrs. Juliette Kabira said that drivers have shown that they really want to know how to behave by preventing their vehicles from contributing to air pollution. Among the vehicles we inspected, we found that there are some with air pollution problems. However, owners have shown us that they really want to know why and what they can do to prevent air pollution, she said. In the meantime, there is currently no law in Rwanda that punishes drivers whose vehicles are polluting the air. Of course, punishment is not the first priority but the focus is on a campaign to address the issue in a sustainable way. Mrs. Kabira told the media that when a vehicle test shows that it is polluting the air the owner is advised to do vehicle maintenance, while at the same time instructed on other alternatives to meet the quality standard which is less likely to pollute the air. We all know that a car with a technical problem has to go to the garage to fix it, so the vehicle is working properly. She added that vehicle owners should know that avoiding polluting air is to protect lives and to avoid losses. The director of operations in the traffic police also noted that for those vehicles that pollute we advise the drivers to take them to the vehicle inspection center, they examine it and advise owners on what to do. And after that, the owner, once aware of the problem, takes it to the garage for maintenance to keep the vehicle from polluting the air. Once traffic police finds that a vehicle emits pollution, the owner's traffic documents are confiscated until the vehicle is back to the required standard after the pollution issue is resolved. With increasing demand for travel, the number of vehicles in Rwanda has increased dramatically over the past decade. Experts in environmental protection find that to address the problem of vehicles polluting the atmosphere, there is a need to change the type of fuel-powered vehicles and adopt a system that uses electric vehicles. To reduce atmospheric pollution levels from the transport sector, the government has also committed to reducing the number of imported used cars by increasing taxes and plans the introduction of electric vehicles as part of its e-mobility program.